Watch the signed card very closely. There's only one card like this in the entire world. No duplicates, no signature duplications or anything like that. I'm gonna tear it up just like so. Now watch. Gone. But look, inside my wallet, actually not just inside my wallet, but inside this little section right here, there is actually a piece. Not only does it match, but the signature matches perfectly. How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel, welcome to another tutorial, and today is a very exciting one. This is a trick I've been meaning to teach for such a long time, and today I can finally get around to it. I'm gonna teach you Torn Corner Teleportation with a signed card. This is a go-to of mine, this is something that I do all the time, and it's a method that I love because there are so many possibilities. In the intro, I swallowed the piece and made it reappear in my wallet, but that's just an idea. You can do so many other things. You can burn the piece, you can make it disappear, you can make it reappear inside your wallet, yes, but inside any impossible location. Inside a piece of fruit, or you can cough and have it come out of your mouth. That's an idea I've done in the past and I really like, but again, I'm gonna teach you the bare bones method and you can come up with any idea for this that you want. Today, I hope you appreciate I am dressed as a blue bicycle rider pack uh, in this lovely t-shirt. Um, it's hot in the UK right now. It's very, very hot. Uh, it's like 30 degrees C, which I know for some people that is not hot at all. But here in Britain, where there is no aircon and all the houses are made of brick and stuffed with insulation, it's hot. Without me blabbing on any longer, let's dive into this trick and see how it's done. Grab yourself two decks of cards, yes, two decks of cards, and let's learn the signed card, torn corner, teleportation. That is quite a mouthful of a trick. Signed card, torn corner, teleportation. Let's do it. So we have a brand new fresh signed card by Mainstream Mike and I've instructed Mike to sign the card as big as possible. Now the reason I've done this is so that some of his signature is on the big piece and the small piece when it comes to tearing it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose the corner with the most signature on it. So. Over here, you can see there's a bit of a blank spot. I'm sort of gonna ignore that. Over here, there's a, a lot of signature in that corner, so that's a really good corner. And it's important to note that this card has to be forced. It doesn't have to be the Seven of Spades. There's nothing special about the Seven of Spades. It can be any card, but you are going to need to force it because there's some preparation you need to do in advance. That preparation being, you need to tear a corner off a blank Seven of Spades. So it needs to match this card. So. It's kind of a duplicate, it's kind of not a duplicate. I said in the intro, no duplicates, because there are truly no duplicates of this card. It is the same signed card, so I don't class it as a duplicate, but you are going to need sort of parts of another matching card. Maybe you count that as a duplicate, in which case I'm very sorry for misleading you, but I don't count this as a duplicate because you're not really gonna show them this piece for very long, and it doesn't even need to match necessarily. If you want to use a double backer and do this trick with the back, facing out, then you absolutely can. There's no need for it to particularly match the card, but I think it's a lot more impressive if it does. So, this piece can just go in your pocket for the time being, but actually what I quite like to do is have it in finger palm. Oh, I've got another spare piece from when I was uh, practicing this earlier. So I like to just have this piece in finger palm throughout the whole trick, and I can be quite natural. Now, when it comes to tearing this card, you are going to need to place this card, this piece of card, sorry, in front, and that is how I'm going to tear. So once again, I choose the corner with the most signature on it, and this is just in finger palm. As soon as they've signed it, I take it back, and I essentially load this piece in front. From my angle, very, very simple. There's not particularly a technique to this. I just reach across as if to tear. Well, I am gonna tear, but I'm also going to load that piece in front. Now, it does not need to line up exactly. I know the perfectionist magicians will want it to, but it really doesn't have to. It just needs to be in the general area. And you can make this easier by pushing this piece right to the fingertips. It makes it a little bit easier just to come across and grab like so. So it's in front, it's on the face of the card, and all that is of course just covered by the fingertips. As soon as I've done that, I begin to tear and I'm gonna sort of follow the line of this card. Again, it does not need to be perfect. Do not worry if the pieces are completely different sizes or whatever, they're gonna see this piece for like half a second, if that. So I begin to tear 
And again, I'm gonna roughly try and follow the piece, but it does not need to be exact. And this uh, sort of real signed piece will end up behind. So as soon as I've done that, this piece is the signed one. That's the one that I wanna keep hold of. And this front one is the one I want to destroy. The reason I use a duplicate of the Seven of Spades is, personally, I think it adds a lot more if they just glimpse their card, their pip of their card going into your mouth. All of this is, of course, if you want to do the mouth version. Now, the way that I don't put the signed piece in is I just pull it back with my thumb. I just pull that back with my thumb, this goes into my mouth, and then this, and with the piece in just falls to my side and no one's going to worry about it. Everyone's going to be focusing on the fact that you're eating a playing card. Now in the intro it looked like I swallowed the card. I actually didn't. I just kind of put it under my tongue. It's just a very very simple technique where it looks like you're swallowing something and you're not. You just put it under your tongue and you'll be surprised how easy it is to talk with a chewed up piece of card under your tongue. So yeah, very very simple technique there for you. If you actually want to swallow the piece you can but you very much do that at your own risk. Obviously, you can burn that piece, you can simply make that piece disappear. You can do anything. Honestly, you can do absolutely anything. And the same applies to the real piece, the actual signed card piece, the piece that matches. You can very much do the same. You can, in this case, I loaded it into my wallet, but you can load it into a piece of fruit. Like I said, you can simply put it in your pocket. You can put it under someone's watch if you know how to do that. That's a great technique and it gets a killer reaction. Whatever you end up choosing, it will be very impressive simply because it, you, you've just chewed up the piece. So wherever it reappears is cool because how can it be that same piece? Before I move on, little notes about the signature. Some of you might be worried that when the piece goes into my mouth, they're gonna see that it's not the signed card. I've never been called out on this, right? I, I've done this trick multiple times. I've never had anyone say, hold on a second, that piece didn't have my signature on. Because to them, it's just like, it is the same piece. Like it can't be a different piece, it, it just is. So, okay, maybe the signature should be more visible, but no one's going to notice. This, by the way, this wallet is called the Real Man's Wallet. It's a very nice uh, card to wallet function where it reappears uh, inside the sort of window slot. If you're interested, I'll link that below. But this version is kind of similar, but it uses your phone case, an ungimmicked phone case. Uh, but it does need to be one of those that sort of wraps around the back of the phone like this. It sort of pops into place. What you're gonna do is pop half of it into place so that the other half is kind of hanging off like this. And this all goes into your back pocket. So there's a nice sort of opening right there between the phone and the case. Uh, actually, it needs to be <laughs> in this pocket because I'm right-handed. So the piece that I've palmed away while I'm chewing, while I'm doing whatever, I simply go to my pocket and I put the piece into that little gap and then seal everything up just like this. What you end up with is, if I take off my phone case, a piece that has appeared inside your phone case. And there we have it. That is my signed card torn corner teleportation. Such a mouthful of a trick there. Literally, in some cases, <laughs> um, that was unintentional. Uh, but if you enjoyed this one and you want to learn my most powerful tricks, my absolute A-side material, the stuff that I perform at magic gigs, then you might be interested in The Magician Club, which is my affordable monthly membership for magicians that I'm trying to make the best value membership for magicians and it just got even better value, if that's possible. Currently, to join the Jack tier is literally just $5 a month. And for $5, you get loads of tutorials and lectures and masterclasses, again, teaching the stuff that I can't teach on YouTube. Like, for instance, my deckless card force. It's something that I use all the time, it's super powerful. Another thing I taught recently was my shuffled deck Akon, where you literally don't touch the deck. The spectator does the shuffling, the spectator does the dealing, and yet it's a perfect any card, any number. That sounds made up, but that is literally a trick I teach on the Magician Club. And at the moment, you can get a free trial of the Magician Club. You can learn all that stuff I mentioned, plus a ton more, for free. If you go to themagician.club, you can sign up for a seven day free trial of the Jack tier. Now, this in itself is a trial. I am trialing free trials. It could go one of two ways. It could go really, really well or really, really badly. It kind of financially doesn't really make much sense for me to be giving this away for free. So at the end of this month, I'm gonna stop free trials. You have until the end of this month to grab yourself a free trial, learn a ton of the tricks on there, or all of them if you want, and uh, there's going to be a lot of stuff added in the future. So if you want to stick around, that is really, really appreciated. Um, again, link is in the description to The Magician Club. A lot of exciting things happening over there. If you enjoyed this video, once again, you can hit the thumbs up button down below and subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next video. Until then, 
Take care, guys.